What's going on guys? Greg here, Racetide Canine Carolinas. Thanks for watching. What I want to do today for you guys is go over my everyday carry dog trainer bag review. So this is going to be my bag, the contents that I have in it every day. When I leave the house, I put this bag in my car, come into the facility, going into the van, wherever I'm at, I have this bag within close proximity so I'm able to do whatever I need to do during the day with the dogs. So let's get to it. Here we go. So we have a multicam black, Nice little duffel bag here. I got my name tape on both sides, a little do not pet sticker. Let everyone know, hey, we're training, don't come around us. But no, but for real. Um, what I wanna do is go ahead and empty the contents out onto the table. The bag's a little dark and getting the second camera set up into here isn't gonna be that easy. So I wanna give you guys the best you know, possible quality in this video. So let's go ahead, empty the bag out and we'll see you guys in a second. Let's go ahead, make some room, do things one at a time. All right, so we're gonna start off is with food. So I have two containers for food. I have my steel vacuum uh, double wall container and I have my treat pouch. This treat pouch on it, it has a clicker for when I'm clicker training dogs. It has poop bags up front. It has food on the inside. So generally, if I need to run slim, I'm gonna take this bag with me into a store, out into a park, and I'll be able to either hook or train a dog if, if that's what I'm doing, or if I'm just treat training. So for any situation, you're always gonna to wanna to have a poop bag and you're always gonna to wanna to have your food. So let's go ahead. That's probably mo most priority. Um, if I'm gonna pick anything out of this bag, it's gonna be this, and that's what I'm gonna run with. Next is my hot dog container. So, what did I lose? Oh, pen. So, um, a lot of dogs aren't receptive to certain kinds of food, you know, whether they can't be uh, treat trained because they're not food motivated for whatever reason, if they're not taking their own food as a treat. Almost all dogs will take hot dogs. Um, so this is empty right now, but this is one of those double wall vacuum sealed containers. Um, smells like hot dogs. It, um, so we know that they get your hands sticky, they destroy your treat pouches. You know, they're gonna pretty much get dirty. Uh, they're gonna put oils on anything that you put them in. You know, using Ziploc bags is okay. It still kind of gets your hands dirty, but what I like to do is use this and it keeps them cool all day long. You know, in the summertime, I can uh, put my chopped up hot dogs in here in the beginning of a day. I can throw this in the car. I can walk around with it. And you know, my hot dogs are gonna stay fresh by the end of the day, you know, so. So that pretty much covers food. Let's go ahead and move into leashes. All right, right on top of the bag, I have my two main leashes. This here is a 30 foot biothane. Um, anytime you're doing, you know, you're getting into that off-leash obedience stuff, anytime you're doing long distance recalls, um, you know, or just proofing your long distance down stays or sit stays, whatever you may be doing, whether it's implied or not, um, a long line is great for proofing that. Maintain control of the dog um, while being able to create that distance. So that's important in my training toolbox. And then this one is a flat biothane three-quarter. This is something that I built. Um, I like having the ability to have a custom leash. You know, I can make whatever length leash I want. This one's kind of all tangled up. Let's go ahead and fix this. All right, now the leash is untangled. So what I did was I put two clips at the ends and I put one loose. So what I did was I put two clips at the end and I put one loose three quarter inch uh, circle here, just one of the welded rings. So what I can do is I can just clip this to a dog's collar and I can just hold the other end. I can choose to make this a quick slip lead if I need to, you know, use it on a random dog, I can go ahead, make a quick slip. I don't have a keeper here. It's only for emergencies. But most of the time what I'm doing with this, um, at Ridgeside here, I'm one of the main trainers for the service dogs that we do with Rescue 22. So I run this as one of the convertible style um, hands-free leashes. For the veterans running service dogs, um, you know, it's already hard enough with whatever disabilities they have. And so being hands-free is very important, I feel, for that specific client base. Um, but so what you would do is you have it clipped around you and then you have enough length here to be able to clip down to your dog and still keep them in a close heel and be able to give a correction if need be or give them guidance wherever you need to. So that's my main leash that I use along with the 30 foot bio fan. All right, and then in these two small pouches, what I have on the bottom of my bag is a couple other leashes. This one is a bio thing that I made. I think it's about six foot. And this just has your loop end on the other side of it, just your common trainer leash. Um, what I want to do is this is three quarter and I want to get the half inch biothane webbing. Um, if you guys run half inch biothane, let me know. And I know I've seen 
I want to say it's 3 8 biothane. Um, if you run either of those sizes, let me know what you think about them. Because I definitely want to look for a little bit of a thinner leash. Uh, next, I have two cloth slip leads. Um, you know, if it's not an emergency, I'm not going to use my uh, main leash there. What I have is two extra cloth slips. These are great slips. You can get them nice and tight and not have to worry about, you know, a dog getting out of them. And here I have regular leather style leashes. I have a short one, just a nice control, you know, kind of a traffic leash. I have a longer six foot or seven foot leather leash. And then I have a cloth seven foot or six foot, whatever length it is. But again, just backup leashes, you know, these aren't all necessarily for me. Um, I'm kind of a more prepared person. If someone needs a leash that I'm out in town with, I can do it. If there's a lost dog that's running around, we have extra leashes for them. You know, whatever the case may be, I like having a little bit of extra. And it's not that big of a bag, so I'm able to carry these around. So moving next into kind of the little extras bag. This is just Velcroed on the inside. That whole bag has uh, Velcro lining around it. So this gets Velcroed to one side. And what I have in it is just a little bit of like treats and some other motivators. Um, this toy I find great to use to tie it to the end of a leash if I'm teaching a dog how to pick up a leash. Um, you know, dogs will pick up this toy pretty easy and then if I tie it in, they're going to end up picking that leash up and then picking the leash up for me on command. So this is a great toy that I have for like, doing the service dog stuff. And then pretty much there's just other uh, treat sticks that I've gotten out of like random bark boxes or something. So I just keep these in here. If I'm ever running low on treats, um, if I'm not near the van, or if I just forgot to pack my food bag up in the morning, I have treats with me. And again, other trainers, other people out in town, um, if we need more motivation, we have it here. Next up, we have my poop bags. So very simple, Velcro still. And then these are just full of, that's my phone, not yours. So these are just full of you know, all sorts of poop bags. I just get them, I unroll them, and I stuff them in here. For me, it's much easier than having to like deal with rolls and ripping them off. I like to just grab a handful, give them to whoever. If there's a random person um, that needs a poop bag, I got them, and then generally I'll give them three or four extra. That way they can have them and they can remember, you know, don't go to the park or don't go out in town, you know, without poop bags. Uh, right here, I think this is my final bag. It's just another smaller bag, it has some hand sanitizer, like I said, with the hot dogs, after a long day of dealing with that, your hands get all greasy. So I like to have hand sanitizer there. Just a brush, you know, to be able to groom the dogs if I need to, if there's a break in what we're doing. And uh, just a biothane kind of emergency slip. I'll be able to, you know, put this on a dog. Any of the other, you know, clip style leashes and, you know, clip onto there as an emergency. Uh, some random loose items that I had in here. Whoa. Another clicker, some more hand sanitizer. I think this small, smaller bottle is what I use in our training vests. I don't have that out right now, but if you've ever seen us, you know, walking around with our green vests on, I always have hand sanitizer in there also. Set of wet wipes, uh, if a dog poops on the floor, you know, in a store, not only do I like to pick up the poop, but I don't like letting the employees have to worry about cleaning it up. So I'll wet wipe down the floor if I need to, um, or, you know, wet wipe your hands after doing whatever with the dogs. I have a notepad and the pen fell around here somewhere. And then just some targets that I use again for the service dogs doing some target training. But that's it guys. Um, so that's kind of what I carry, I guess on a daily basis. I do have another uh, treat pouch that I run other than this, but that's not with me right now. So if you uh, have anything different that you, that you run, you know, on a daily basis with, you, with, with your dogs, you know, whether you have pet dogs or you train dogs for a living, um, let me know down in the comments below, you know, what, what your kind of go-to kit is, what you bring with you on a daily basis. I'd love to hear that, see, you know, maybe I can change my kit up, maybe I can lighten it up a little bit, or maybe I'm not carrying enough. Maybe someone out there is carrying more and they have a good reason why. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, uh, subscribe, comment, whatever you got to do. Have a good one.